Very excited today then to have the following guests on this show. Hello to the Noisettes. You alright guys? Hello, Hello. <laughs> are you are you well? Yeah, we're well, thanks. Very well. As it turns out. Um uh, but it keeps raining, but it's warm, and that's the most important thing, which is really good. Yeah, we're getting through the wet weather and obviously enjoying the hot weather at the moment. Now, we we come to new music in just a moment. First of all, though, let's just go back a tiny bit uh, to Wild Young Hearts and tracks like Don't Upset the Rhythm and Never Forget You. Of course, that last album for you, it was, it was pretty successful. It was very catchy. I mean, what was that time like for you guys? Oh, it was... Um, I, didn't, I, didn't, I don't think we really had a clue as to how... Um, Things would take off at that point. It was, it, 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 but I remember making it and being really happy with the the album. And then suddenly it was, we were all sort of having these isolated experiences, going to the cinema, and suddenly this song coming on. It's like, what song? Oh my, oh, it's that song. It's that song. And suddenly it just was, it was everywhere. And um, it was, it was amazing to sort of to be a part of that. It's a sort of crazy, a crazy dream almost. Like to to, to have mm. that. It's a bit like, I guess, the feeling where you're just so happy doing what you do in your art form and so lucky that you're doing something that you're yeah. passionate about and that's your job. And then you're quite happy with bronze and someone tells you that you've got silver or gold or platinum, which we did in the end with the album. So it was just, yeah, it was an amazing feeling. And when your friends and your family are like really proud of you and that's, that's pretty cool. But it, it was a bit strange, the whole kind of suddenly everybody no- recognising you in, I mean- in the street and stuff and... Expecting you to burst into song. Yeah, it was oh. brilliant. Or going, go, baby, go, <laughs> Like, you know, uh, um, teenage girls shouting it off a bus and stuff. It's, it's brilliant. It's funny. Of course, Don't Not Set the Rhythm was the track which started at number two. But for me, my 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 memory, which is always going to stay with me with, about the noisettes, is Never Forget You. Now, oh. I went to see Take That live and I came back and on the bus, which we was on, uh, we had another radio station on and they played Never Forget You and I'm never at the re- I can't remember to take that concert all I remember is sitting on the bus and listening to your track <laughs> oh, well take that take that <laughs> take that yeah um, that's so awesome what can you say is, would you say that your new album of course Contact would you say that it's got the same kind of sound to Wild Young Hearts could you compare them um, it's the same I think we've, it's the same characters that, have, that you know that made Wild Young Hearts that put a lot of um, a lot of effort and a lot of soul into it um, you know we've still got our um we're still quite, I guess, quite truthful to our, our, our roots, which are really, I guess, quite sort of steeped in soul and, yeah. you know, lots of sort of um, sort of dance music and African, you know, inspirations and blues and rock and roll and et cetera. But this time, I guess we've, we've had the chance to work with um, some really interesting sort of like, you know, co-writes sort of popped up in America and to, 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 um, to sort of learn a different sort of side of our craft and to work with people who usually, you know, produce and write R&B, like Neo, for example. So for him to say he wants to work with someone like us because wow. we bring something different to his songwriting, I just thought it was going to be an amazing collaboration. And I think people are going to see the fruit of that. And, and, and we're, we're kind of, you know, kind of achieving what we wanted, was to, which was to sort of make a, a pop album that would still be exciting and that would cross over to R&B fans and rock and roll fans and soul fans and any music fans, genre schmonra, as we say. So I think we've achieved that by managing to get all these crazy, uber American sort of songwriters who, who said, mm. you know what, let's, let's just keep what you do because you, your fans obviously love that and then let's make something that will expand and help us make more friends along the way and, and more international fans. Yeah, because I was going to say, we don't hear many kind of like v- vocal collaborations with the with the Noisettes, if you know what I mean. So you've yeah. been working with people like Neo on the kind of songwriting and producing side of your of your work. Yes, yeah, we did, yeah. Yeah, um, yeah I, f- I flew to LA and then wrote a couple of tracks with, with Neo and then wow. we were able to take to take those songs and just sort of get them produced in the studio with with the whole band and um, take the best parts of that session in LA and, and, and bring it to life in the studio with live instruments um, on top as well. So, you know, we've, we've, we've all made, we've, we've made it our own still. And um, yeah, it's, 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 it was pretty, it's a pretty amazing experience. I'm just, you know, no, I'm, I'm really, really grateful, babes, you know. I, I love the album. I've had a listen contact out on the 27th of August. Make sure you've got that date in your diary, 27th of August. And and quickly, uh, That Girl is going to be the next single. I've heard that as well, and I fell in love with it on the first listen. I'm going to say that straight away. What can you tell us about that single? I mean, where did you come up with the concept for it? Uh, We came up with it in Brighton. Um, We've been recording a lot down there. Um, There's a really nice studio called Brighton Electric, and uh, we've we've been hanging out a bit, and, um, and, and me and Shingy wrote it in my living room. We just sort of sat around the table... 
um, had a guitar and just looking out the window on a sunny day and, and it, it came from that really. Some songs can take, you know, two weeks or two months to actually finish and that was yeah. just one of those golden childs that just goes, hello, I'm here, <laughs> like a little pop-up on your computer screen and you're like, oh my God, that was easy but I guess maybe when, whenever you're singing, I think it's always easier for me lyrically to sort of sing about other people even if I'm really talking about myself. If I'm saying that girl's in love with you, it's... It's that that it's that ode to everybody who doesn't realise maybe doesn't feel that attractive or doesn't know that that person actually really fancies them or really likes them and they keep misreading the signs and maybe there's a bit of that that's happened to all of us and there's I think there's a little bit of autobiographical elements in it but really it was just a fun a fun song to write and like I said it, it popped up so I'm really really gra- grateful for that. Well, I love it. And I'm it. glad you like it. I love it, and I hope everyone else enjoys it. Now, that's what we're going to play next. Guys, thank you very, very much for talking to me today. And uh, yeah, would, you be, would you be able to introduce your new single, That Girl, for us? Yeah! <laughs> Hi, this is Shingy from The Noise Air. This is Dan from The Noise Air. We're going to play you our new single, which is called That Girl. <laughs> 